I started writing an HBR article. The article is pretty bad, but the, the title I like. It's not everyone should lead and that's okay. And I know this is sacrilegious in my field where I lead from the front, everybody's a leader. We want everybody in an organization to be a leader. We want, and when I gotta be careful here because the word lead means so many things. So when I say lead, I mean uppercase L, right? Have in a formal leadership position where you have authority and responsibility for other people's lives and their work and their growth and development and success. Like really, you can be a leader in your field and everybody should be a leader in your field. That's not what I'm talking about. What we mean is leaders, right? Not everybody should do that and that's okay. And I can't tell you, every article I read gets, oh, everybody should leave, oh, we all should be. And then, and people, my students are looking at me, executives are like, oh man, I thought you were gonna say we should all be leaders. And then I ask them, I said, how many people in this room think that everyone should be a triple board certified pediatric neurological surgeon? Show of hands. No. Well, why not? Because not everybody on the planet has the mental ability, the physical dexterity, and the emotional stability to operate on little babies' brains. Why then do we believe that everyone should lead? That everyone has the motivation, the skills, the attributes, um, and the core values to be an effective leader. And so what happens is I think all our organizations are designed that the only way you can move up, we define success as moving up, getting more money, right. more prestige, more status, is to move from what? Individual contributor to a managerial role and then a more senior role. And more, that is absolutely the worst reason to go lead, right? Not everybody should do that. If the heart of your organization is somebody who writes code and they hate people, Put them in a room by themselves. Um, don't ever make them a team leader for other code writers. If they hate people, just let them write code. Pay them a lot while they write code. In fact, they should get one of the biggest meritocracies, professional sports. We got our Celtics. We're watching the Celtics right now in the playoff. Sports, the the real athletes, um, actors, the artists, they get paid more than their coaches, or their, right? Because, right, it's a pure meritocracy. If you're the best, you get paid for what you do. They get paid more than their coaches. That should be the same way in organizations, unless the real talent isn't leading. So anyway, I um, I think we end up with people leading for all the wrong reasons. And if you're never asked the question, you know, why are you going to lead? Or if you don't have a good answer to that question, why, why are you leading? You shouldn't be leading. <laughs>